Hare Krishna. Jai Shri Shri Radha Govinda. Welcome to another episode of A Little Bit of Nectar. Today again, we will be reading from His Holiness Sachinandan Swami's book, Spiritual Tonic. Krishna is sinless. Here, Krishna is described by Shukadeva Goswami as anagha, sinless one, free from all falsity. This is very important if you deal with Lord Krishna. Once the gopis approached Lord Krishna, we want to go to the other side of the Yamuna. Can you help us? Krishna asked, why do you want to go there? Very simple, said the gopis. There is a saint called Durvasa Muni. He has undergone so many austerities and we want to offer him a nice feast with our milk products. We want his blessings. So Krishna said, well, it is very difficult to cross the Yamuna. We know, said the gopis. Can you help us? Krishna replied, well, you have to go to the Yamuna and say, Yamuna, give way, make a path. This is the only way. That meant the Yamuna had to stop flowing. That's very difficult, said the gopis. She's flowing since time immemorial. No, no, she will stop flowing when you make a profoundly truthful statement, said Krishna. Okay, said the gopis, what should we say? Krishna replied, you must say, Yamuna, stop flowing because Krishna is a brahmachari. This is all you have to say. The gopis laughed. You are a brahmachari. You were just dancing with us. But they had so much faith and love for Krishna that they went to the Yamuna and said, Yamuna, stop flowing. Yamuna continued to flow. Yamuna, said Srimati Radharani, stop flowing. The waves splashed and asked, why? Because Krishna is a brahmachari. Then the gopis could see a wonderful pathway lined on both sides with beautiful white crystal stones manifesting in the Yamuna. The gopis walked the path surrounded on both sides by big walls of water. They just went through carrying their pots and singing songs about Krishna. They approached Durvasa Muni and presented their offering of milk sweets. Please bless us so that we can meet the son of Nanda Maharaj. Tatash too, said Durvasa Muni, which means let it be so in Sanskrit. Anything else you want, he asked. Yes, we need to go back to Vrindavan. How can we cross the Yamuna? Ah, said Durvasa, just say, Durvasa Muni only drinks the water of Durva grass and you will be able to cross the Yamuna easily. The gopis thought, but he just ate such a feast. He does not drink only Dorva grass water. But since they crossed the Yamuna with one statement, they thought, let us try another. So they went back and could also pass the river Yamuna with Dravasa Muni's statement. The point of the story is that great personalities do not obey the laws which are restricting those of us who work in the world of matter, who are in material life. Dravasa was obviously not fasting. He had eaten a huge feast, but his feast is different from your feast. When you eat a feast, you develop a heaviness in the stomach. When these great souls do anything, they do not become affected the way we become affected. And therefore, we can say that whether they eat or not, they remain on the same platform of fasting. It's the same with Krishna. Krishna dances with the gopis, which is usually an activity of a sensualist but he is totally transcendental. So the point of the, in this story is that although Krishna and the great personalities may be seen in ordinary eyes to be on the ordinary level, they are on the transcendental level beyond the dualities of material life. The truth and falsehoods, what we consider pious or impious, does not hold any relationship with Lord Krishna. Krishna transcends all this and thus he made the statements of the gopis true. And therefore, Yamuna gave way to the gopis to cross her waters. So Krishna is totally sinless, free from all falsity. And that means that even sinful people can approach him and by contact with him become special. So sometimes people want to say, oh, Krishna is a thief. Oh, Krishna, he behaves improperly with the gopis. But the truth of the matter is that everything belongs to him. So how can he be a thief? And we were all made for his enjoyment. So what is the question of impropriety? 
So I encourage you to surrender to Krishna, who is sinless. And when you become in contact with him, you will become special. Jai Shri Shri Radha Govinda.